Hi! My name is Owen. I hope you are doing great. As you already know, I travel with my family around the world. Right now, we are in Netherlands, which is a country located in northwestern Europe also known as Holland. Did you know that the Dutch produce billions of tulip bulbs each year? 90 hundredths of the world's tulips to be exact. Yes, this is a fraction with a denominator of 100. Well. Today we're going to learn how to add fractions with denominators 10 and 100. The good news is that adding fractions of these types is the exact same process as adding fractions in general. As a matter of fact, the biggest difference is that finding a common denominator is easier, because 10 and 100 are multiples of each other. Okay. First let's consider the steps involved when the fractions we are adding have the same denominator. When this is the case, we simply keep the denominator as is, add the numerators as indicated, and then simplify the result if necessary. For instance, if we were adding 4 tenths and 3 tenths, we would keep the denominator as 10, add the numerators, and then simplify if necessary. We see that 4 tenths plus 3 tenths are equal to 7 tenths. That's pretty easy huh? Well, let's take a look at what we do when the denominators are not the same. When this is the case, we just need to find a common denominator by finding the smallest number, both denominators divide into evenly, now when we have a denominator of 10 and 100 we do the same. Remember denominators 10 and 100 have a common denominator of 100, we simply multiply both the numerator and denominator by the number we need to multiply the denominator by to get the common denominator. For instance, suppose we are adding a over 10 plus b over 100. We know the common denominator is 100, to make 10 into 100, we multiply by 10, therefore, we manipulate a over 10 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 10, to get 10a over 100, we don't have to do anything to be over 100, because we already have the common denominator of 100. For example, 3 tenths plus 20 hundredths are equal to 50 hundredths, remember we need to multiply 3 tenths by 10. Now we can compare fractions with denominators 10 and 100 in their equivalent decimal. For example, if I ask you, which one is larger, 62 hundredths or 7 tenths, what would be your answer? Well, we can compare these two fractions, or we can compare them as decimals. In converting fractions to decimals, we know that decimals are fractions with denominators 10 and 100. So, we just need to take the given fraction's numerator. Then, mark the decimal point after one place or two places from right towards left, if the given fraction's denominator is 10 or 100 respectively. And then, insert zeros at the left of the numerator if the numerator has fewer digits. Well, that means that 62 hundredths are equivalent to 0.62. And 7 tenths are equivalent to 0.70. So, 0.70 is larger than 0.62 as 0.70 is closest to 1. Interesting right? So, what do you say? Can you continue recognizing fractions in real world situations? Just remember that today you learned how to add fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. How to rewrite fractions with denominators of 10 and 100 as decimals. And how to compare fractions as decimals. Practice and you will see that you will be better at it. I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.